So here's another development technique for you. So this one is reharmonization. So what we've got here, let's just get rid of uh, that from the previous session. I've got the, the melody we've been working on. I'm just gonna copy the melody and this time I want the melody to repeat. Yeah, so there's the original, here's a repetition of the same melody. What we're gonna do this time is we're gonna change the chords. So I'm gonna mute off most of them so that it saves a bit of time. And let's go in. So the original chord progression was D minor to um, G, I think. So we're gonna we're gonna change chords. I'm gonna change the speed of the chords as well, I think, as well. So um, let's stay with maybe D as our first chord, since um, the piece of music is um, in sort of D Dorian. Let's try out some different chords. So this time. Um, let's go to F afterwards, so let's move that there, and move that up to F, we'll have to change the bass note to 2 in a minute, and then I'm going to go to maybe C, so, now we've not had a lot of C as a chord in this uh, piece of music so far, and we'll finish off with uh, the G kind of note there. So let's copy that over here. And I'm just going to go into the bass part and change the bass part around. So we have this D idea. <coughs> but then I think we went up to F. All right. Let's just do that for now to make it simple. And then, what did we do then? We went to C. So, why is it not showing? There we go. There we go. So, we've got that. Here, we're going to hit on a C. So I mean we're keeping the bass part pretty similar actually. And then at the end of this bar we hit on a um, G note. There we go. So let's take that back. Double that. So we're gonna have the melody repeated and different chords even coming faster with more chords than the second repeat. Yeah, so that's another idea that you can do is repeat the melody and just try out some different chords on it.